In this video, we're going to continue on from our previous video, and we're going to talk about how do you manage a situation where you want the user to input a number that you might then do some manipulation to. And let's outline the problem we ran into from before. So the problem we ran into was, and let me just delete that, is when we take an input using the input function, Python always assumes it's a string. So if I want to take in a name or some other word or sentence, that's not a problem. But if I want to take a number in from the user, that, that isn't a problem either, but, the pro but, but it does become a problem if I try and apply some mathematical operations to it. So right now here, let's just change this program a little bit. Your favorite number plus 10 is number. And I have used a self-referencing assignment statement to do this. So I put my name Paul, input my favorite number, 20, and I get a runtime error. Because what's happened is that when I take this input here, and let's add our line numbers, when I take the input for number on line 9, number is assumed to be, oh, pardon me, number is assumed to be a string, and therefore we have a problem. So to solve this problem, to solve the problem that number is a string, we use casting. So we're just going to do this. So what I've done now is I've actually gone and taken my input and that's going to generate an input and then I've casted it to an integer. So I've taken this string value and I've forced it into an integer type. I've said to Python, listen, I know that you think this is going to be a string, but trust me, it's going to be an integer. And if I run this now, I shouldn't have a problem. There we go. Now I say I shouldn't have a problem, but that's assuming the user works with this and follows the directions. So if I run this again, I put my name as Paul, and it's asking for my favorite number, and I put, I don't know, monkey. I get, a, I get an error because what this is trying to do is it's trying to force a string into an integer which can't work. So at this stage we don't have the tools to kind of check to ensure the user follows the instructions. So you have to be really careful. If you input the wrong type and you try and do a conversion, you're going to run into a situation where your program will crash. That's called a runtime error. So this takes an input and casts it to an integer. And it's important to also I notice that if I say put in my name's Paul and I put 5.5, I still get an error because 5.5 is, is not an integer. It's, it's a decimal number, which is a float. So again, that, that idea of that input has to be an integer or my program's going to crash if I try and do any type of operations with it. Now let's take in let's let's take an input that we're going to assume is a float. So let's do something like fnum equals input what is your favorite decimal number. So please input your name, Paul, please input your favorite number, 45, please input your favorite decimal number. Now watch, I could put 56 and it works fine. I could run this again, Paul, and I could put 4.5 and it works fine. But at this stage right now, the way this line is set up, we are assuming fnum is a string. And because I'm not trying to do any manipulation, this isn't a problem. No mathematical manipulation, no problems. Because it still just assumes it's a string and it can print it out. But let's imagine that I wanted to do something like this. 
f num equals f num times 3.5. Print the value you entered times 3.5 is comma f num. So now if I run this, please input your name, Paul. That's line, that's line number five. And then it's going to say, please input your favorite number. We can see that at line number 13, so 45. What is your favorite decimal number? And if I put 4.5, it crashes. It doesn't crash at line 17 because that's okay. It, it doesn't matter that it's that it's a string because I'm just printing the number. Line 18 is causing the crash because fnum is assumed to be a string. So how do I solve this problem? I cast it to a float. And by casting it to a float, I can then perform those mathematical operations. 40, input your favorite decimal number, 2.3 and then it works perfectly fine. So that's how you take inputs of, of floats and integers. We use casting to do that. But at this stage, we have to be really careful because we don't yet have the tools to, 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 to not have the program crash if the user inputs something that is not correct. And in future videos, we'll explore that further. I hope that helps. And as always, ask any questions.